Hey there, today I am going to share a little about myself in a soft whisper. Let's get to know each other. My name is Renat. Uh, you might not have heard that name before. It is pretty similar to the uh, female name Renata, but I'm Renat. <laughs> and it's actually a uh, common male name for Tatars. I'm a Tatar. <laughs> uh, fun facts, uh, Tatars love names that start with R or R in Russian, like uh, Rustam, Ruslan, Renat, Rashid, and many other. Oh, and uh, by the way, I'm a half Tatar and my other half is Russian. I was born and raised in Kazakhstan. You might not be too familiar with the country, which makes my story even more interesting. <laughs> Russian is my native language, so uh, I do speak a bit of Kazakh, just not very well. Basically, at a school level. Kazakhstan Russian is a main language uh, for communication between different uh, ethnicities, ethnic or ethnicities or nationalities. <laughs> a lot of people here speak two or even three languages, usually Kazakh and Russian and English is uh, becoming popular too. Kazakhstan used to be part of the Soviet Union a um, long time ago, but it became independent in uh, 1991. At uh, this time I was 12. Uh, it was a thought how would it start from scratch uh, and uh, the economy was a mess a big uh, mess now I am uh, 45 and Kazakhstan has bounced back becoming a major player in the global economy <laughs> it's <a> major player <laughs> we're now for mining uh, things like Titanium, uh, copper, zinc, uranium, gold, silver, rare earth elements, plus oil and gas. And facts, Baikon or Cosmodrome, where a lot of space mission start, is in Kazakhstan, where the uh, ninth largest country in the world by land area, but only about 20, 20 million people live here. Most of the land is deserts and steppes. Recently I've noticed uh, a lot of English-speaking YouTubers talking about Kazakhstan. They're shocked because they didn't know much about the country and uh, are amazed by what they find and please don't <laughs> leave a comment about Borat and you should check some of these videos out <laughs> it's for my family history my grandparents on my dad's side were exiled from Tatarstan. Now it is a part of Russia to Kazakhstan, exiled to Kazakhstan in 1937. Under Stalin's orders, they were sent to the cold empty steps to build copper mines. It's like slaves. My mom's family moved uh, here from a Siberian village in the 
third one is when my grandpa was assigned to work at a train station. So uh, that's how two people from very different backgrounds met in Kazakhstan and created <laughs> me. <laughs> um, now uh, I've been a photographer for the past 20 years and uh, a bunch of international exhibition and photo contest wins under my belt. About uh, 14 years ago I started a YouTube channel to teach photography and somewhere along the way I discovered ASMR content. I thought uh, hey I could do this and started making my own ASMR videos in Russian. If you are curious, you can check out my channel uh, on Russian. It's called ASMR Club. I even hit 1000 subscribers and got that silver play button, which I'm pretty proud of. <laughs> Besides photography, I also work as a 3D generalist, generalist, and that's what pushed me to learn English. Maybe 20 years ago I started. <laughs> this channel, uh, Tingles Maker, is not only about ASMR, but also helps me practice my English. Uh, in my spare time I create lessons, write scripts and try to improve my uh, pronunciation uh, while growing this channel. <laughs> I'm just trying to speak uh, on English sometimes. It's really important for me. I've been learning English for about 20 or 15 years, mostly on my own. I did attend pre-English courses in my hometown for two years and even spent four months uh, in Los Angeles in USA at a language school. That was back in 2014 and it was probably one of the coolest experience in my life. A little more <laughs> facts about me. <laughs> I am uh, married and I have two kids. Uh, 19 years old daughter and eight year old son. I think that's all for today's first video in this format. Thanks for watching, liking and of course subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer to you. <laughs> See you soon. old man who uh, should film 
ASMR videos for English speaking uh, people and it is a really big challenge for me because uh, my English is not well as you can see <laughs> as you can um, hear <laughs> and uh, it is a difficult part for me that I uh, try to speak in uh, without any helps uh, because uh, all uh, English studying in my life for the most time it is a uh, self-education uh, I try to improve my English every uh, every time I have a time for for, for this and uh, one of the uh, um, one say coolest, coolest experience in my life it was in uh, 2014 then I was learned language school. I, I live in, uh, lived in Los Angeles for three months, three or maybe four months, and get a one term uh, at intermediate level. Mm, and for this time I can't speak at all, because I uh, can understand some really fun. 
I don't know uh, what I uh, will be doing for this part when I speak without any helps uh, with many 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 mistakes but maybe maybe I will leave this uh, piece of video <laughs> for you and if you uh, watch it now that's why I'll make decisions that uh, it will be fun for you or maybe tingles or something like this I hope uh, we uh, know a little bit more each other you <laughs> you uh, knowing you know uh, more about me for this time if you still hear me <laughs> That's, I, I think that's all. Uh, please get a like, a subscribe, and uh, get a bell for notification if you want. That's all I think, and bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. Uh, if you want not to sleep, you need to close your eyes. Close your eyes, and... Just sleep. Bye-bye.